بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا فورتھ لرننگ پیتھ ڈپلائی اینڈ مینٹین ایسٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لک ایٹ دا ٹاپک آئیڈینٹیفائی وین اے ڈیٹا گیٹ وے از ریکوائرڈ وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن مینیج ڈیٹا سیٹس سو فرسٹ لیٹس ہیو اے لک ایٹ دا کانسیپٹ آف اے گیٹ وے اور ڈیٹا گیٹ وے دیٹ واٹ از اے ڈیٹا گیٹ وے اینڈ دین وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور دین Uh, the situations where this data gateway is required here in this diagram you can see that power bi is part of a larger group of services that are provided by microsoft and the azure cloud so these services include azure analysis services azure logic apps power apps power automate and some of the other uh, such sources which are part of the microsoft power platform so once we publish our report to power bi service then we know that the data has to be refreshed because obviously the data is changing in the data source and new data has to come and come has come in, has to come into the data set and obviously uh, on top of the data set there are reports and the newer data needs to be uh, highlighted or needs to be shown in the reports in certain scenarios the data is residing in an on premises location so an on premises location means that the location can not be accessed directly through the internet it is either on the local computer or on a local network so examples could be a local sql server a local sql server analysis services and your excel csv files uh, on your laptop or on your machine so in order to connect the power bi service to these on premise data sources you need to have a bridge which is called as an on premises data gateway or simply as a gateway so this data gateway links the power bi service with your on premise data sources and and whenever the data needs to be refreshed this data then goes through this path and the power bi report is is refreshed like, like power bi there are other cloud services so if your data source is in a cloud so for example you have a power bi report that connects to azure analysis services or azure sql server database then you do not require a database a uh, data gateway so generally these services connect to cloud data sources without a gateway but the scenario that i just explain here or if your data is sitting behind a firewall or whether it requires a virtual private network or a vpn or if there is other virtual network through uh, on which your data is hosted then in addition to this scenario you require data gateway so this is a very important bit that you need to remember that if you have some kind of a on premise data source or any of the these conditions where your data source is sitting behind a firewall it requires a vpn or it is on a virtual network then you will be required to actually installed an on premises data gateway so here there is another view of uh, data gateway so you can think of data gateway as a bridge which is sitting in the middle and here is your local data and here is the power bi service so either you have to have somebody who can actually manually uh, press a button and then the data gets refreshed some kind of a person who is sitting there but the data gateway actually does this automatically and it connects to the logic which is there in the power bi service so you have to install the, this data gateway on your local machine or it could be any machine on a local server but that machine or uh, the machine on which the data gateway has to be installed is is only supported for the windows operating system so normally we have two types of uh, gateways one is called as the personal mode and the other one is called the standard mode or the on premises data gateway the personal mode can only be used by one person if you are actually having installed having it installed on your machine then only you can uh, use the personal gateway but the standard mode gateway can be shared and used by multiple users so if you have a machine that that is accessible by other users they can actually go and use that machine uh, the standard mode gateway is okay, can also be used by power bi power apps flow and some of the other services however personal mode gateway can only be used by power bi 
and it supports scheduled refresh for direct query data flows and analysis services but here the uh, the the scheduled refresh is only supported for power bi so normally the standard mode is the uh, is the gateway that you need to install on your machine the data gateway can be downloaded from the microsoft website and there is a link inside the power bi service from where you can go and download the power bi gateway and then install it on on your machine and configure it we are not going to go into the process of installation because that is not a part of this uh, pl300 exam but just for the sake of completion let me take you to the power bi service and show where you can from where you can download the data gateway so here i am in the power bi service and here if you come on the right side you are uh, you are going to see that there is a download icon so if you just click on the download icon you are going to find the option for the data gateway so you can just go there and then uh, it is going to take you to the link from where you can download the data gateway and install it on your machine or some machine in your local network so that was all about data gateway the point to remember here is that in what scenario you need to actually use a data gateway so we have actually covered that and that is the 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 thing that is the main crux of this particular topic and this particular video so that's all for this video and i'll check uh, and i'll catch you up in the next one